Hello students and welcome to Short of Sales classes. In this series of videos we'll be doing on real analysis, we'll be dealing with Riemann integrability. So we'll start with the very basics of Riemann integration. So the term integration, the term integration actually meant to give the sum of, to give the sum of. And as we have seen in the previous ones, in the previous approaches to integration, we took, let this be a curve and then we took such boxes and so forth, so on and so forth. And we used to interpret this geometrically. Now Riemann was the first person to interpret this geometrical, uh, to take this geometric interpretation and give it a rigorous arithmetic form. And this arithmetic form was free from any geometrical notations. So let's just see how he approached it. First, we'll define something called uh, partitions or Darbo sums. Let me just write this. Partitions. Partitions. And... Riemann, Riemann or Darbo sums. Okay, so let's start with what is called a partition of a closed interval. Partition, partition of a closed interval. Interval. This is one. So a partition. Let let's say we have an interval i is equal to a b, and this is a finite and closed interval. Okay. So a equals x which is x0, which is less than x1, which is less than x2, which is less than dot dot dot, which is less than xn equals to b, x0 is equal to a, and xn is equal to b. Then the finite ordered set, then the finite, finite ordered set, then the finite ordered set P, which is equal to X0, X1, dot, 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 Xn, is known as, is known as, as a partition, partition of interval I. Okay. The N closed intervals, the n closed interval thus formed if you just take this the n closed intervals okay let me just show you what do i mean i1 equals to x0 comma x1 i2 is equal to x1 comma x2 dot 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 and ir is equal to xr minus 1 to xr and i n dot 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 i n is equal to x n minus 1 comma x n are determined by p okay so these are are determined determined by p and are known as the segments of the partition of P as the segments of the partition of the partition of P. So the length of the Rx subinterval, the length of Rx subinterval. I R equals 
x r minus 1 to x r is sorry x r is denoted denoted let's write it denoted noted by delta r where delta r is equal to x r minus x r minus 1. Now if you vary r you can uh, get an infinite number of partitions you can get an infinite number of partitions on the interval a comma b and also note note okay note that one the set or family family of all partitions partitions of a comma b is denoted is denoted by p a comma b and also note that the summation r equals 1 to n delta r equals to delta 1 plus dot 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 till delta n is equal to x1 minus x0 plus x2 minus x1 plus dot 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 plus xn minus x0 and this will give you xn minus x0 which is equal to b minus Okay, so that's what a partition is. Let's now define the norm of a partition. Number two is the norm of a partition. So the norm of a partition is the greatest, greatest length In fact, the length of the greatest interval, let me just change that. The length of the, the length of the greatest of all intervals, of all intervals, x r minus 1 to x r is called its norm let me just okay so the greatest of all intervals in the partition p in the family of partitions p let or of the partition p will be called will be called the its norm and is denoted is denoted by norm p or nu p thus mathematically how to represent it norm of p is equal to nu p nu p which is equal to the maximum delta r such that 1 r is an n. Okay, so let's go to the next definition, which is okay. We'll do the next definitions in the next video since this video is getting already a bit too long. So we'll do that in the next video. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching.